and welcome back to my Andrea Pirlo glory to success save here and we are back for the uh, Italian Cup final because we actually went through in that 2-0 here uh, I guess we will go through every other match here nil nil against Brescia there in the league uh, 3-1 Rodrigo Eduardo uh, Lucas Kerubin Scoring a goal. Parma 3 0 at the sending off there, but still decent enough. And Pio Capesi scoring there, and then Kerubi uh, again. And then we lost, unfortunately, against us all really poor. They were bottom of the table. We did it really good, or really good. We did it decent in the first match against Lille. Uh, I thought we would go through. Uh, Reese there scoring goals for us. Um, we had, uh, yeah, we just rotated a lot against that spell. I don't, oh, that's annoying. It's not that long ago. So. And then we won. Uh, or then we lost 3 0 against Lille. <laughs> we had no chance. I mean, we had the possessioning, but we were just awful and just letting in goals like in no tomorrow. And 3-0, Moravats, our Slovenian, Slovakian, <laughs> I don't know really, uh, I think it's Slovakian. Yeah, our left and right backs here scoring a ton of goals, so that's pretty good. So we turn around this, Daniele Vicentini has been really good. Scoring a lot of goals, I believe it's third best goal scorer in the league. I scored a goal here in the end as well in the 93rd minute. And then we had uh, Miyoki uh, scoring a goal. Surprisingly, I believe it was his first goal there. One against Jena. Bonatti there scoring the goals for us. Uh, won the derby. Vicentini. Uh, very late here. Did the... Uh, Managed to win the match. I was worried <laughs> we would just get a draw. We created more chances. They had more of a ball, but they did not take their chances. Uh, Di Mio there with a assist. Di Mio has had it really tough this season. I was gonna say Calgary really at this point. I thought I was hoping that we would continue to win victories. One though against Atlanta, which Pio Campesi again scoring goal there really important for us because yeah they were i believe they were just three points behind so very late goal there so we scored some late goals as you can vicentini kerubin and campisti again and then unfortunately we lost against lazio really annoying and um, did lead twice and then in the end they turned around and scored the goal so yeah we're probably going to finish fourth and then we have Kievo uh, yeah they create chances such I wanted to rotate though so that we did and yeah this player is actually developed pretty decently so now he has two and a half stars he's probably he's even better than my Portuguese and goalkeeper that's out on loan so a bit late but I'm at least going to record this match against Brescia here they are the league 8 so a superb season for him and being Pirlo and having his home club being uh, Brescia I feel like almost he would like to win it but oh well or like Brescia to win it but He's manager after also. I guess we have to be professional. Ahmed Minucci, uh, Victoria Champagne, Batolia, Ruiz, Venturelli, Storani, Kerubin, Bonatti. Bonatti has been better actually and then Eduardo. Eduardo. They have been about the same. It's not like he's, but he's been more consistent there. Uh, Vicentini and Capesi because both of them have scored some goals. Nine players <laughs> hasn't scored, everyone else has scored goals. I guess we'll see. It's still really awful though. 55. Uh, last season they scored, of 
Okay, it's, it's better at least, but it's still not great. One goal more, then we have two matches left. 26, so we conceded one goal more so far. So, yeah, and I have the European Championship as well. I guess I will not go through it today, so let's just go to the match and see what we can get here. Hopefully we can... Andrea Pirlo can win his <laughs> fourth Italian Cup title. What to say it? And then... Yeah, they, they lost the match or drawn the match and... So I was expecting them to lose. Uh, or to yeah draw some matches, but they haven't, so... so sadly, it's just a title fight between... Uh, I'm probably going to play this in my pre uh, free time, but this is going to be like the last season on screen, yeah. Like I said, because I just wanted to have the chance to win the European Championship, and I I'm not even sure. It might take like five seasons, especially if we don't have the economics. This will, it was a lot of fun, uh, or at fun, it wasn't fun, it was painful at the same time, but when I, I got the uh, wage budget and the transfer budget was like ridiculously little. The transfer budget was on 4 million euros and the wage budget was on uh, 40 million. And luckily we are below the transfer or the wage budget right now. But it's just because I lowered the wage budget all the time. <laughs> With all those high paid players. So we are like on 13, uh, 13 50 or something. So 300,000 under it. Champions League. But obviously it would be a lot. <sighs> None of them must be. Wait, then unfortunately, what it's called, yeah, Sanatoris in or injured. Guess we'll get you in here, Gray, and see. Fortunately, I did not take in uh, to the na natural English team, it's just he's been just a backup and not got. I mean, it's not been bad, but if retire from management, even if I might lose. Batolia! He is the only current player we have that is an icon. I hope he will be a legend eventually. Yeah, and I lower his wages. See, <laughs> like over 1 billion, so now I'm in 910. Still a lot, but well, that's what we have to do. Um, what else do we have? Anyone that's tired? Uh, Campisti, I'm not impressed by you. Ripamonte go in here. I'm I'm definitely going to get a new contract to Ripamonte. The problem is just going to be keep the contracts low. But yeah, we have two. I'm going to get him him him, and the, then we will just see. I guess we'll see if uh, it is any like free transfers or such I can do. But I'm not expecting that either, really. And this has been an underwhelming match, I guess. Yeah, Brush and uh, not on that bad. <laughs> well, we have not done the superb match either. Though. Really, though, well, I thought they would score because they had had chances, but you can say Pirlo is good at winning cup, telling cup titles. Unfortunately, not that good at winning scudettos. <laughs> or at least I. <laughs> Milan delighted. Well, 6 million, that's at least something. No, I'm not going to be able to find the both matches. Oh, nil nil there, and then we won. One nil, so yeah, we're better <laughs> meeting in between, so even if they would win all the match. I mean, this is really exciting, the spell. Uh, I guess Brescia still... No? What is that? Four points. Oh, I hope that Brescia do it and go before. What does Brescia have? Curious. Lazio and Kiev or Lazio stuff though. Even if they are already further. It's, it's still a fight of the Scudetto there. Kiev can not get relegated. Pescara and Udinese there. Uh, but probably going to get relegated. That Juventus had the 
as you can see here, they did draw against Bologna, they did just lost against Sampdoria and then lost against us, but then they actually recovered remarkably well and won five matches in a row. Spal and Frasson, no, no. Spal is fighting for league title though. And they are in Champions League final also, so I would guess the Zebra is going to take it again, but with a very low margins there. Unfortunately, we will not be top three. We were not last year, but I don't like it. Okay, there we are. I don't know what was going on there with the microphone, but well, we are here uh, for the last match of the season. We won against uh, Udinese. Ela Di Mio surprisingly scoring two goals there, so I don't know. I tried the lowest weight, yeah, I might tell them still. So, yeah. Um, yeah, we have some players here that I think can actually giving game time to, since we don't have. I'm not sure about him. He's a little bit old. He's not that bad though. He's been out on full under. He was lost. I mean, he did not do that bad. He didn't just not get any game time. Uh, his wage is a little bit high. Probably this Nigeria might be my fourth choice next season. It's on pretty good. 11 goals and 16 goals there. So I'm thinking of actually selling Eladimio. Eladimio is still better, but yeah. And then we have this fella that has really good crossing, good first touch, good marking and tackling. So. Even if the sets is two star, but I still think it's good enough. Federico Fernandez, I'm not sure about him, he's not outstanding, but we might need to do this. Okay, I do, I, uh, it seems there has to be a problem with the microphone, that's just everything. So we go with this lineup for the last match of the season. Ahmed um, Jelovic, I want to give him some game time. He is he's developing as he gets the year. Or is for the best player, so definitely get a better there. Ahmed Jelovic, uh, Victoria Champagne, probably his last match. Ruiz, uh, Batolia, Venturelli. Oh man, this is wrong. You're supposed to be. Uh, Venturelli, uh, Kerubin, Storani, and uh, just moving him there. Uh, Bonatti. Uh, no. No, you're supposed to be there, and I'm just going to play you as a poacher there. Uh, Vesatini and Campisi. Who else is here? Right, I will do the national, but I have that as two separate files, or two separate, uh, what do you call it, two separate uh, uh, playlists, so yeah. So yeah, I don't know why it is the network say. I'm trying to, I'm probably going to try to find out how I changed that so it is better, but uh, so far I don't know. <laughs> so I guess we'll see how we, we can go before Lazio and it, oh no, we are using the wrong tactic to realize here right now. That's not great, I'm just realizing right now that this is a way much. Here, because I don't want it to be the wrong thing. I think we might go though unbalanced. They are not going down though, Empoli, so. They're not that bad. Tolia, Venturelli, Capisi. I would love to uh, loan Capisi for next season, but I think it's not going to happen. I guess we'll just see. Capisi scores! Uh, Venturelli with a sister, so lovely goal. 13th goal of the season. Batolia into Ruiz there, so this is the wingbacks again. Oh, it's the crossbar there, and then the rebound matches against them, so I don't understand what's that. Oh, now, now they, uh, they might lose or just yeah, have a draw here, so that's nice. Oh, no, we're, we're in some. Ah, damn it. Concede right away. I don't like that at all. But we would hold this on for a little bit longer. Who is that? Ian Barlett? Is he an Englishman? Almost sounds like that. Yeah, he is, but not that great. So he probably wouldn't go into the national team. Most his price is 
11 goals he scored. Uh, go away with the ball. Nice there. Uh, I want us to play better here. I want us to win. Storani. Ah, uh, they win back the ball. Barlet. Ruiz. Ah, uh, he wins back the ball. No. Okay, that's no worries at all for our goalkeepers there. Really surprising and amazing at the same time. Wouldn't have thought of that. So I guess I will just play through this in my uh, free time, like I said, and now I'll do the intro and the introduction to my next series, so yeah. So I guess we'll see what we are, what is going to happen here. Let's see what kind of changes we can do here. No one has been re- I guess Kerubin has not been great, but we don't have that many changes to do here. I guess I bring in Grey. For the last time, I don't know if we will have May. We might do some loans. I've checked on like um, <clears throat> players that's contracts going out, but most of them are like really, really old. So I, I'm probably not going to try to sign any one of those. Teeny, no one has, yeah, like I said, no one has been really awful here. I guess I can see whose fitness is the worst. I guess we could take out you and then just move you there instead. Then move you to Dwan's playmaker role. See if that makes any difference. Yellowich. And Torelli. No, don't lose the ball. I don't want to. I at least don't want to lose this match either. <laughs> the draw is okay though, but I don't want to lose this. It's a little bit weird. We have uh, less points than we have last season. But I at least took them off to uh, uh, Champions League spot there and improved from last season. Oh, I thought they would score there. I think Ella de Meus, uh, yeah, I know that seems weird, but to take out the goal scorers, but uh, I don't know if Ella de Mio is going to be here next season, to be fair, so we give him his last game time, I think we might be sold to Napoli, since that is his homegrown club and all. <sighs> Little bit anticlimactic, <laughs> we did not manage to win the last match, but I will, it is what it is, or at least, yeah, eh. A little bit further on as well, 75 points, oh well. That's at least what I'm hoping for. I mean, come on now. That's just annoying. I hope I can fix this somehow, because this is just a pain. Who is this mother freaker? Barcelona, and I wish I could just change that. Oh well, can we go forward? I might just... Holiday because I've already played the match. Uh, or actually, I can't do that because I believe I have the. Yeah, the. Take out the squad here. I was hoping that we could get better here and finish up in a better position because then we would have gotten more money. The C plus though. And uh, they were happy about that and happy about that, but not happy that we did not challenge for the league here. Now I have too many players still. Oh, well, whatever. I I guess we're just going to end off here. So, yeah, uh, I will be back with uh, Glory to Success National. Uh, so, yeah, see you all there. And thank you all for watching this series. Uh, I guess we could do a little bit. I was thinking of maybe go getting back when I have uh, play all the <sighs> when I'm end of the series. But here we, you can see one World Cup, four Italian Cup wins with Milan, one Euro uh, Europa League win, one uh, uh, league uh, win. And uh, yeah, that's something that I don't care about. One uh, Champions League win and then one 
uh, World Cup Championship for uh, clubs. So yeah. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this series and I see you soon again. So bye!